Hi there! The return of the budget smartphone from Realme is here, the C30. So we don't have the price at the time of making this video, but I can surely say it's priced somewhere between 8 to 10,000. And frankly, for that price, it packs quite a lot in here. It comes with the Unisoc T612 chipset, a super slim design, huge 6.5 inch display, dual SIM support, basically all that you need in a budget phone. So let's quickly unbox it, have a closer look at it. I'll share what's good and what's not so good. So you can decide if you should buy the Realme C30 or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Realme C30. Towards the back here, you can see some of its key features, powerful Unisoc T612 processor, 5000 mAh massive battery, 8.5 inch ultra slim design, 6.5 inch full screen. Towards the bottom here, we can see some of the details. This is a lake blue color and we have some manufacturing details below. All right, let's quickly open it up. You have the SIM ejector pin and some paperwork. There's no TPU cover provided in the packaging. And finally, the phone itself. We'll have a look at it in just a moment. We have a micro USB to USB charging cable and a 10 watt charging brick. Now, micro USB in 2022 is a little disappointing. And I can understand the idea is to bring the price down. But USB-C would have just been so much more convenient. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the phone. The back is made of plastic and has this nice line-like texture. The best part is it doesn't attract any fingerprints or smudges. The side is just 8.5 mm, which is really thin. And also since it's flat, it helps provide a really good grip in your hand. On the top is a single 8 megapixel camera with flash. At the bottom is a 3.5 mm headphone jack, a microphone, micro USB port and a speaker. On the right are the volume rocker buttons and the power standby button. Sadly, the device lacks a fingerprint scanner, so the only way to unlock would either be a pin, a pattern or face unlock. Then on the left is the SIM tray that can house two nano SIM cards and one dedicated slot for a micro SD card that you can expand up to 1 TB. Coming to the display, so we get a 6.5 inch LCD display with an HD plus resolution, 1600 by 720 pixels. On the top is a teardrop notch housing the 5 megapixel front camera. Now, even though this isn't a full HD display, it doesn't feel like one. The text is quite clear and the colors look surprisingly vivid and punchy for an LCD display. The quality of this display is excellent for a sub 10K phone. All OTT apps and games can be downloaded from the Play Store. Then we also watched movies on it and the experience was pretty good. Here's a movie playing on Netflix. You might notice some pixelation since we're recording in 4K but to the naked eye, it's very, very clear. The audio too is decent and it's best you can expect from a single down firing speaker. Also worth mentioning, it gets quite loud. Coming to the interface, so it's running Realme UI R Edition on Android 11. It's overall very smooth, but comes with a lot of bloatware. However, if you don't need those apps, you can delete them easily. It's powered by the Unisoc T612 processor and it does a pretty fine job. Social media apps, WhatsApp, messaging all worked really well and they were also very quick to launch. We ran the Antutu benchmark and we got 1,78,000, which is quite good for a phone in this segment. The new FS 2.2 also provides good read and write speed, which helps enhance the performance. Now this phone is really good for day-to-day -day apps like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Netflix, YouTube, they all work great. In fact, we even pushed it for extreme gaming, BGMI, and it was actually very much playable. Not the smoothest experience, and we did notice some drop frames, but there was just no lag. I think it's still a pretty decent experience when it comes to gaming. Then the phone comes with a 5000 mAh battery that should easily last you two days with medium use. See, low resolution display ka yehi fayda hota. It consumes lesser power. But it will take three to four hours to fully charge considering we just get a 10 watt charger with it. I so wish it came with an 18 watt charger and USB-C. But then we all know the price would go up. Actually, I'm thinking too much. I know there are a lot of people who are still using phones with micro USB ports and they're happy with it. So it might not be a big deal. If the specs are right, if the display is good, if the performance is nice and the price is right, 
the charging port won't really matter to the end buyer. Coming to the camera. Well, it's a single basic 8 megapixel camera, best to be used in well-lit situations and does the needful. The same goes for the 5 megapixel selfie camera, I'd say it's decent. So the Realme C30 has the looks of a premium phone, especially this lake blue color, just loved it. It's a perfect phone for a college student, your grandparents or just if you don't want to spend a bomb. It will be available in three colors, there's lake blue which we have, there's also bamboo green and denim black. Sadly, we don't have the price of this phone at the time of making this video, so I'll mention the price, availability details, card offers if any and purchase links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, please mention them down in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.